Hello, my name is Mr. Curtis, and I'm one of your school counselors down here in the counseling office at Fishers High School. And I'm going to lead you through a video today that's going to help you through the process of completing the Do What You Are assessment. So we like to use this to help you figure out any sort of college and career choice that will match your personality type. So it's a quick assessment that you're going to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. And it'll give you some career options. That way, when it's time to apply for colleges, you have an idea of a good college that you can go to to help you achieve what you want to do with a career. So hopefully at this point, you're logged into your Naviance. And your Naviance user screen should look like this when you log in. I'm in the demo version of my account. That's why up here it says, Welcome Demo Curtis. Yours should say your name up there at the top. Um, well, let's go ahead and get this underway. So we're going to do the Do What You Are survey. There are lots of places lots of ways to get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the About Me tab up here in the right hand corner. I'm gonna click on that. And where it says My Assessments, I'm gonna go there and I've got a whole list here and throughout high school we're gonna help you get through some of these to help figure out um, some good choices for you for colleges and careers. But today we're gonna to do Do What You Are. So I'm gonna click on Do What You Are and it's gonna take me to this screen. Um, so now it says it's going to take me about 20 minutes to do, and that's a, a pretty good estimate. There are a few questions that you're going to answer in some different sections. Um, it's pretty easy to do. But again, so this is going to help reveal your true personality. So the important part of this is that you, ans you really answer these questions based on what you know about yourself and who you are and not what you think you're supposed to answer it. So don't do it based on what you think you want other people to know about you. Do it based on what you truly know about yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and hopefully you're all here right now. Teachers, at any time, you can pause this video to help get students all on the right track. Um, and I'll keep saying that so that you know the good places to stop before continuing on. So we're going to go ahead and continue. And the first part of the Do What You Are, it's going to give you two options to choose from. And so your goal here is to read through both of these statements all the way and try and get a really good understanding of what it's asking you. And you're just going to pick the one that you think fits the best for you. Um, so the first one, and I'll show you a couple and then I will go ahead and go through it really quickly. But it says, I have a lot of friends I like to spend time with. I usually enjoy meeting new people. I'm in constant contact with friends and often try to get them together to have fun and go places. Just thinking about getting something going gets me excited and motivated. So I read that and I'm like, you know what, that does kind of sound like me. But some of it I don't really quite get, you know, jive with. Like maybe usually enjoy meeting, usually enjoy meeting new people. I don't know about that part. I mean, but I'll, I'll read the next one just to see. I'm a somewhat private person. I have very close friends I've known for years. I like to do things with them. But I also enjoy spending time alone, doing things I like to do or just relaxing. In social situations, especially new ones, I often prefer to listen and observe while well, observe a while before getting involved. Hmm, well, I think maybe after I read both of them, this one looks like the best one. So I'm going to click that circle, and it's going to take me on to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to do that for every single one of these. Make it sure I'm really reading it and picking the one that I think matches me the best. All right, so I'm just going ahead and click on a couple of them. And what you can kind of see is I'm clicking on some of them. So I'm not reading it, but you guys make sure that you read what they are before you click on one. As I click these, it just automatically takes me on to the next one. And you can see the bar up here increasing. So that's going to show you your progress in answering these questions. Now, if you answered a certain way, you want to go back and change your answer. You can hit previous and it takes you back to previous answers. You can switch them if you want and it automatically takes you on to the next one. So I'm going to hit next until I get to the next spot. And I'm right back here where I was before. So students, why don't you go ahead and take some time to finish this one. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to fast forward to the end. Teachers, if you want to pause it right here to give students a chance to finish before going on to the next part, then I can explain the second part. All right, so I just finished all those two-part questions, and the next part it took me to was this one. So hopefully you're at this point now and you've answered those questions, and hopefully you went through and did the best you could and picked the one that matched your personality the best so that you can get some good results at the end. But now we're to the point of the assessment where we're going to rate different career clusters. So a career cluster is where they take a bunch of different jobs and they put them together based on some characteristics. So you're going to see a list of about 16 different career clusters. 
Um, and what you're going to do on this part is you're just going to read through them real quick. Maybe look at the parts down here, especially where it says some of the paths in this area and it shows you some specific jobs. So those will kind of help you figure out exactly what sort of careers are in that cluster. And what you're going to do on this part of the assessment is you're either going to say if you are interested in it a lot or if you're not interested in it at all. So you read through each one and again I'm just I'm going to go through it. I'm going to skim it and I'm just going to answer it the best that I can. So some of the paths in this area are agribusiness, animal systems, environmental science. So this is a cluster about agriculture, food, and natural resources. So if I'm reading that and I don't think it sounds good, then I'm just going to go down here and choose something that, I, not, that I'm not interested in. It. So maybe I'm kind of interested in farming. Like it sounds cool. I like animals. I did okay in biology. So maybe I'll do a three there. I wasn't super excited about it, but it's kind of midway for me. And then I just go through each career cluster and I do the same thing. So the next one's human services. Some of the paths in this area are counseling and mental health, early childhood development, family community services. So maybe I am really interested in that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click very interested for that one. And I'm gonna do the same thing for all of these. And again, so what you're doing is you're going through and we're really just trying to help you find career paths that match your personality. So it's important that you read them, you know what they're about so that you can do the best you can when you're rating these. So information technology, four, and so on. So for this part, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video again. That way you don't have to watch me go through every single option here. Um, and then teachers, this would be a good time to pause the video as well, give students a chance to answer it. And once they get through this section here, they can go ahead and pause and stop. And then the next part of the video will show them what to do on the next part of the assessment. Now that I've gone through and rated all the career clusters, I'm going to go ahead and click continue. I'm going to give it a moment to load up. Sometimes it's a little slow, so just give it a chance. And on this next part, it just shows you your personality profile. So this assessment's done the best that it can to take my answers, and it's going to go ahead and give me a couple paragraphs to help explain to me what it thinks my personality is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read through these and we'll see if I agree with it or not. Now I'm not going to read it word for word on the video, but you should probably take about a minute or so, read all of it, that way you can give it an appropriate rating. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read just a couple. It says I'm a logical and organized person. I'm like, yeah, I can agree with that. Maybe I'm not as organized as I want to be. You know, I'm not super organized, but so that, that kind of describes me. So if you look down at the scale, the scale is one, two, three, four. And when you click four for being very accurate, notice that it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. You're just going for, it's describing you the best that it can, and most of these things that it's saying would be true about you. The low end of this says not very accurate. It says 50% or less. So if you feel like half or less of this is not true about you, then you wanna click on that and you wanna say how accurate it is because the next part of this is going to give you career options. So I'm going to say, you know what, this is pretty accurate. So I'm going to hit continue. Again, sometimes it's a little slow. So we'll give it a moment here to get all the results. So there, just did the pink check mark. And it's going to show me my results here in just a minute. There we go. So now the first thing I see is I see my personality type. So my personality type, based on how I answer these questions, and really, on the earlier part, I just clicked through some options here. So for you, hopefully that's a really good matchup uh, in the way that you answered it. But this says I'm an ISTJ. So it gives me four letters, and then I have four different descriptions down here. So based on how I answered questions, I'm an introvert. So I like to focus my attention inward. I work at a careful but steady pace. Um, I'm a judger, sensor, and thinker. So then it gives you descriptions on your personality type. And again, then it gives you the same two paragraphs that you just read about yourself up there. So this is my report. It's self-reported on how accurate it is. So I said that this was very a very accurate description of myself. Um, and it's really cool to be able to see different things about your personality. But the point of all of this was not just figuring out your personality, it was also being able to see what careers you could do and that line up with your personality. So when we click see careers, it's gonna show me the different career clusters and how interested I would be in them based on my personality type. So for example, my top one says education and training, very interested. 
Yep, I would agree with that. So now the next part of our activity, what we would like for you guys to do today to finish this out is go through the list of careers and pick at least three to five favorites that you think sounds like a good career that you would be interested in. And then you can use this information to help guide the next part of the Naviance activities. So I'm gonna go through here, education and training. I'm looking at some of those, maybe those four don't really jive with me. Um, but I can go on down to the next one because human services, I'm still very interested in it. So I see I've got property, real estate. You know what? That doesn't sound bad. So I'll just click the heart and I'll keep it as my favorite. So what this will do when you save them as your favorites, it's going to put it up here in this career tab for you to go back and look at later. That way, when you are maybe doing more career profiles, you can kind of see how well all these different assessments line up with what you've been doing. Um, architecture and construction and you know what on this human services I'm gonna go back up here for a second it shows me six those aren't the only six that are in the human services cluster so I'm gonna click show more and maybe there's something else in there that I really like and that I think sounds good um, maybe city and regional planning aids sure so I'll put the heart next to that one okay then I'll go down here and now I'm getting into clusters where I'm just pretty interested in it. So these are the ones that don't really line up with my personality quite as much as these two clusters up here did when it says very interested. But still, it's worthwhile to go through and read some of these and see if it sounds like something that I would be interested in doing. So I can click show more. Maybe woodworking is a hobby of mine. So I can click, yeah, sure, woodworking sounds like would be a good one for me to do. Um, maybe I want to be an airline pilot. That sounds interesting. Okay, so I go through and I just pick, and again, we want to do like three to five. You can do more than that if you want. Um, then hopefully, as you're reading these, they you're finding ones at the beginning that sound really interesting because that was kind of the point of all this. So hopefully it's matching, uh, doing a good job of matching your personality profile to interested careers. So just do the favorites, and once you do that, you're really done. Down here at the very bottom, way down here at the bottom, um, after I go through all of those, and you can see, actually, I'm going to go down here to the bottom. It shows that law, public safety, corrections, and security, I'm not very interested in at all, apparently, according to my personality profile. So if I thought that, you know, earlier I wanted to be a, a police officer or a private detective, if that's careers in my not very interesting category for the career cluster, hopefully that kind of tells something to me, like, you know what, maybe my personality type isn't the best fit for that and it, that doesn't mean you can't do that job you can do whatever job you want this is just kind of helping you show or help them show you that your personality type matters in a career okay so don't feel like you have to stick to the top of the list if you want to come down here and still do something that where it says according to your personality that you're not very interested in feel free to do it and go for it okay so down here at the very bottom I can go back to my results and all that's going to do is take me back to the one page where it gave me my personality type. There it is again. So now I have these assessments, and this assessment is going to stay at Naviance for me. And then I can always refer back to it over the next couple of years in high school and see what kind of careers that I was interested in, in case I forget. But that's it for the Do What You Are survey. Thanks for watching the video, and thanks for doing the assessment. Hopefully it was a big help. Remember, come down and ask your counselors if you ever need any help on anything. Have a good day.